Hello, I'm Vicki Condi Systems Technical Support Department and I am standing in front of two Ricos. One on my left is the, the 7700 Rico, new to Condi, new to you. And uh, we're um, getting up to speed on our videos and how to go through menus. And to my right, I've got the, uh, the new Rico 3110. The 3110 is uh, uh, a smaller format, kind of like the 3300 Rico. Uh, with uh, a format, a uh, media type up to legal size paper. Uh, also, um, you have three trays with this printer. And uh, with this printer to my left, the 7700, you can go up to the 13 by 19 with the bypass tray. Bypass tray is an additional accessory you would get through your account manager as well as the bypass tray with 3110. So, in this video, we're going to talk about assigning. Uh, paper sizes to trays. So, and the reason you would do that would be um, would probably simplify your life if you're uh, a client or a person who runs uh, various types of media, uh, various sizes for uh, for multiple products that you uh, that you may need to sublimate. So, we have three paper size. I mean, three paper trays. And uh, if if you wanted it, and you don't have to, but if you wanted to uh, use the features in the menu, you could actually assign paper sizes to uh, to each tray, and you can also assign, you know, the media type and things like that. Uh, you can do custom paper sizes uh, within the menu here, and so we're gonna, or I'm going to walk you through how to do that. We're gonna get a close shot of the menu, and I'm gonna kind of press the buttons and show you how to go through and do the paper size assignments per tray. Should you want to do that, um, when we uh, zoom in, you'll be able to do that from home. So let's get started on assigning paper, size, paper sizes to your trays on the 3110 New Rico here offered at Condi Systems. Okay, um, we're in front of the Rico um, SG3110DN. Um, this is our display here says ready, so you want to be on ready. Uh, always when you get ready to go to the menu is usually where we start from is the ready mode. So uh, to get to where we need to go to assign paper sizes to the additional trays, you're going to press your menu and your menu is your down arrow. So you should be able to see menu written here. So press menu and what you see come up is menu counter and go ahead and arrow down to the next uh, uh, feature in the menu which is paper input and that's what we want so we're going to press enter one time and what you see is a tray paper size and so here is where you would go and assign your tray paper size and for this to work correctly um, you do need to make sure your um, auto tray select is selected in your driver and that's done from your uh, driver and, and I'll show you that in the setup uh, when I do the walkthrough in the setup for the uh, video um, for setting up the 3110 so auto tray select would have to be selected so from the tray paper size you're going to press enter now the first thing that comes up is tray paper size tray 1 tray 1 is the tray directly the first tray directly under the printer. So uh, we'll start there. Press enter. And tray one is already assigned uh, a eight and a half by 11. So if you wanted to change the size, you would arrow down. And as you arrow down, you can see the size change. And some people may uh, assign that. I would probably assign tray one my default tray which is usually tray one and you can change that in the menu as well but tray one would be your default tray I would assign that a paper size that I run um, most every day um, so I'm gonna go back up here to uh, eight and a half by eleven just wanted to show you how to move around and you see an asterisk here that means that it's already selected for eight and a half by eleven so uh, now we're ready to escape out. We're going to arrow down one time and go to tray two. So 
uh, to go to tray two, press enter, and we, you see an asterisk by eight and a half by 11, we're gonna change that to something else. As, as I said earlier, uh, you can run up to eight and a half by 14, which is legal size uh, media with this printer. So um, we're gonna assign tray two the legal size media. And to do that, we're gonna put an asterisk beside the eight and a half by 14. And um, it'll automatically go back, once you put the asterisk there by pressing enter, it'll go back to uh, tray paper size, tray two. Now we're ready to go down to tray uh, three. Okay, so we're gonna press enter. And here you might wanna do something, I, I don't know, uh, I, I usually run mug paper in, in tray three. Um, so I, I rarely uh, use that tray, so I just put something in there I, I rarely use. So to do a custom paper size, you can do that from here too. And uh, if you arrow down, you'll see custom size. And you could press enter on custom size. And from here, you can increment and change your value, see. And uh, your horizontal is gonna be left to right. Um, and your vertical is gonna be uh, up and down. So meaning your, your length uh, is your vertical. So if you just press your arrow button, you can change those values too. And I just wanted to show you how to do that. So I'm not gonna perfect this, but just to give you an idea how it works, you can hold it down um, as well. So, and then uh, you could go and change your, you could press enter, and then your vertical comes up and you wanna change that too. So you enter in your values. Now your paper, if you're using mug paper or something like that, you can measure that paper, but usually our mug paper we sell here, it's uh, already cut for you. It's got the values on there and you can just take them straight from the label and enter those values. So once you have your vertical size set up, you'd press enter, okay? And it goes back. You have an asterisk here besides, beside custom size. So you know that that custom size paper is selected for tray three, okay? So, sorry, escape. And so if we want to go to our bypass tray, we, I arrowed back up to go to the bypass tray. And the bypass tray, I usually leave it open. Uh, you can assign it, but I just, I, I never know what, that's to me, that's like a quick feed. I never know what I'm really gonna put in there. I, if I just wanna run one sheet, sometimes I'll just put that size in there and uh, move my sliders as I need to, because I can run any size I want through the bypass tray. So again, uh, that's how you set up your uh, paper size for each tray. And so once you have that completed, you just escape out and it takes you back to the ready. Um, so to do that, as I said, you'd want to have your auto tray select entered and uh, selected here so that when you run these paper sizes, you have, um, there's auto tray select here. You can do it from here. So again, and you can do it from your uh, menu I'm sorry, your driver on your PC or Mac too. So that uh, you just choose auto tray select and automatically when you run that paper size, it knows what tray is assigned to that paper size. All right, so we have uh, got up close and, and learned how to do paper size assignments to trays with the 3110 RICO offered here at Condi. Keep in mind that each additional tray is an accessory and accessories are purchased separately uh, with, uh, with your printer. So you'd have to get with your account manager and ask for these additional trays. They, do, uh, they are very handy should you uh, be someone who runs different types of media, uh, different size media, different products. It could save you a lot of time just being able to go and choose a, paper, choose a tray with that paper in it so that you don't have to keep changing your paper out and you know, working with uh, different size media can sometimes be com complex and uh, you know, utilize a lot of your time. So if you, should you decide to get the trays and, uh, and do the uh, assigning of the trays, uh, I hope this video has helped you to do that. So my name is Vicki. If you have any questions, you can call us here at Condi. Anyone in our support department should be able to walk you through or uh, you should be able to find a document about how to do it if you choose to go that route. Uh, my name is Vicki, I'm with Condi, and as always, I thank you for your time.